Hey everyone, welcome back to CK3 Cyprus, where we have yet a, another daughter. Uh, I don't really like that name. Good orthodox name. Anna. Magdalena. Marine. Catherine. Philippa. Elizabeth. Catherine. Alright, we'll go with Catherine then. Gain even no more prestige for that. Did we just... Oh yeah, we became distinguished. Because we're pumping out babies. Isn't that nice? Our glory is wildly known. Okay. And there's our little son. Look at him. Very nice. We are now 32. Ha! Huh, look at our husband. His, uh, I like his beard. He looks so jolly. I don't know. It's kind of funny. Okay. Our cousin over here keeps fighting and winning wars, apparently. And we can go for a new perk. Hmm, Republican ruler opinion, Republican vassal tax contribution. Ah, there's so many good things. Can use the sell titles decision. Ah, man. Professional workforce. There's a lot of good things. I guess that's something I'll go for, though. I mean, I don't really have that many vassals. But I guess it will give a little bit more money. Plus, it will make my mayors more happy, which is also good, since they're on my council after all. Um, do we still have this modifier here? Yeah, okay, it's finally gone. I think that, yeah, that reduced our money quite significantly, actually. Now we're making decent money again. Okay, and another child. Wow, we are very fertile. Fishing net weavers have been built. Okay, so this is basically all we could construct here. I think, um, I mean, we can go for another, for this. But I honestly kind of want to save it up to, um, yeah, build the Grand Cathedral. Start the construction. Um, so for that, we're going to have to just save up some money. It shouldn't be taking that long, to be honest. But I guess we'll see. And we can declare wars. Duchess... Of, uh, yeah, I'm not going to press Dragon's claims. Yeah, he has so many claims, I don't think so. Actually, too bad, but I just don't feel like doing that. Okay, I've been host hosting your Chancellor for some time. The way he imposes himself on my home, all the while encouraging no less than groveling servitude to you, disgusts me. Okay, what? What's going on with you? Why are you like this? Dude, how rich is this guy? Four and a gold? Damn. Okay, I have given birth to a perfect little daughter. Okay. Beatrice. Rachel. Judith. Juliana. We already have Joanna. Sophia. I like Sophia. Hagia Sophia. Sure. There we go. And we still only have one son. Hmm. All right. That's fine by me, though. I mean, actually, I would prefer that. <laughs> Ruler in the making. Okay. There is no end to the opinions and wants of my son and heir. Half of the time, he's trying to tell me what to do instead of the other way around. He's three. Okay. Well, a bold grasper. I like that. <laughs> okay. It's actually kind of hilarious. Now, also... I also honestly kind of want to found an holy order. Now for that, I need level of devotion, devoted servant. That should be possible and then have even more opinion um, of this. Well, this guy needs to like me a lot more. Requested gold, craven. Well, we can sway him, I guess. He's shrewd. Hmm, but this would be kind of awesome to do. We'll see if this is possible. Okay, new lifestyle perk is available. Now, hmm, professional. Is there something else I really want? Extort subjects. Don't really think it's going to be going to be doing that. Professional workforce. I could see that. Hmm. Centralization. Levy reinforcement raid. 
Hmm. I think I might... What does this trait give me? Holding taxes, 15%. That's actually really good. I really kind of need that trait though. Mm, that's gonna, like, but that's gonna be a lot. Like, this is a long way. Mm. What if I do this? What do I get? Now, you know what? Let's finish this. I want this trait first because it's just, I mean, it's not 15% gold. It's so good. Then, what is our dread? We don't have any. Let's do this. We can use this decision. I don't think it's really useful. You will have the opportunity to take gold from someone in your realm. Now, where are my loyal subjects? Actually, maybe this is something we can do. Let's see what happens. Because if it's Dragon, I will probably do it. Okay. Oh, and it is him. <laughs> My uncle. Now there is a man. There is a man. Expression. He already knows for what purpose I am approaching him. I am loyal. I pay my dues. He insists. How can you ask more of me, dude? Dude, consider it an extra little test of loyalty. Oh. Um. Do not worry. I. I will have everyone pay. Interesting. This is tyranny, but this is not. Okay, well, I think that's what we'll do, yeah. We're not gonna we're not gonna be tyrannical about it, but he can pay. He can pay up, I think. That is only fair. That's only fair. For all the thing he has put us through. I feel like that just makes sense. Um a notable guest has arrived. A trained healer. Okay. Hmm. I can recruit her to court. Eh, I don't, I don't know if we need this. I do have a court position, right? Yeah. So, eh. It's okay. What is with this guy? How does he have a thousand gold, though? What? Can you give that money to me? Mm, okay. Demand conversion. And you can, I guess, gain a hook. And you can leave. I don't need you in my prison. There you go. Right, we're making money quickly. And this is going to be done very soon as well, right? Ten months are left. Unused farmland. That's a shame. My hook expired. Huh. I wonder for how long. Like ten years maybe? Five? Five years, probably. Hmm. We're actually not that far away. We have an impeccable household and... Wow, we just gained piety and prestige. Wow, us, this was both because of our spouse. That's actually kind of cool. Alexia has a claim in the county of Mesembria. Okay. Masonic Dealings. A guild of stonemasons has established itself in Rashka. Having dedicated craftsmen in my personal service could help the region flourish. I will strike a deal with the chief mason. Um, okay, we gain a great deal. Cooperative stonemason. Building construction time. Building construction gold cost. Okay. I am offered... A fair deal I am offered. An unfortunate deal. The mayor has an even worse chance. I think we'll do this. Peasant labor. Yeah, this is not good. So, uh, let's see what happens here. I think... Uh, okay, after lengthy audience, the chief mason will budge no further. For a lower price than this, it cannot be done. Mm, the control level will change by plus 20. That doesn't really do anything. We have an agreement. 65 gold for what? For gold... 10% reduction. Okay, let me... Let me... Let me see. If I want to build a building... Since this is our personal domain, right? If I was to build... Like... Quarries... Oh, this is interesting. 
This is giving tax and build building construction time. Hmm. What else can we build here? We seem to be able to build different things. Yeah, we don't have trade ports, hill forts, outpost. Okay. So, but yeah, this is a possibility. Quarries. 95 gold. Uh, I don't know if that's really a good agreement. I don't think it really gives us much. Um, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Actually, I'm gonna decline that. We have other things that we want, and Dorotheos has a new branch. Or Final Trophos Antioch. That's a stupid name. That's a really dumb name. Let's be. Let's be honest here. You could have come up with something better than that for sure. But okay, it's what he chose. It's what he chose. Our cousin Diogenes has. <laughs> okay, so we have now four cadet branches. Uh. Okay, so we have this, Industry, Devotion, Conquest. Okay, and then Honor, Vigilance, and Respect. Triumph through the Spear, Honor through God. Alright. Well, why not? Four cadet, well, three cadet branches, one main line. And I learn of a lover's secret. Wow, he looks... Oh yeah, he's drunk. Okay. And who's this guy? Can I... I can't even demand payment. Mm. Hold on. This is... I don't have a hook on it. Oh, interesting. She doesn't have any money. She doesn't have any... This guy does have some money. You know, black may for a hook. And then at least give me 20 gold. It's a weak hook. Okay. You can only demand payment from a strong hook, apparently. I can imprison him. <laughs> he he would even agree to that. That's kind of funny. Yeah. All right. Well, that wasn't actually all that useful. And you're actually disrupting schemes. Perfect. Now the claimant has arrived, and there's another emerald. We declare war on this guy. Just not interested. But this, yeah, the Muslims keep falling apart. And the Byzantine Empire just keeps expanding. Be crazy. A new lifestyle perk can be selected. Let's go. Uh, I mean, this is not really that useful. But neither is it. None of these two are particularly useful, so. Yeah, whatever. I guess. Eh, whatever, I guess. Uh, it. it in the uh, in the off chance we get a stress level now, then you know that's possible. Okay. Okay, we have autonomous vassals now, and Alij goes to war, Duke Leopold. In the Liberty War, he wants us to join. Ah. Uh... Oh, what? Why? Why would he do that? Oh, this is against Thessalonica. Okay, I, I can accept that. Yeah. Alright. I will obviously join. I don't think I actually need to do much, though, because... Yeah. Oh, actually, this guy has a lot of, lot of troops. Much more than I had expected, but... Yeah, he's not gonna defeat them. Nah, he's got no chance. Perfect. Okay, um, and can I maybe pass this law? I could. I don't think I will. I can extort subjects. Um, let's do it. Let's see what happens. If it's Dragon again, why not? 
Oh, it's the mayor of a city. Hmm. Oh, and we gain dread because of that. Interesting. Uh, then it's probably a good idea. Now this, giving us some tyranny? Hmm, no, I think we're not going to push it that far. This is fine. But we're very close. We're very close to our goal here, which is amazing. She's super close. And there we are, a thousand gold, and we can start this. Now, I know that it's it would be cheaper if I was if I had the architect trait right now. Um, but I just I don't know. Now here's the thing though. What is what does this do? This gives monthly tax, but it doesn't actually give me the money, right? This county gets all the bonuses, and my realm, I gain piety. M Hmm. Okay. Monthly renown. Holy order higher cost. Clergy opinion. I don't know if this actually counts for me, to be honest, though. Like, I don't know if, if I'm spending a thousand gold for nothing. This holding this county, and then your realm. But what does it mean with your realm? Like, does it mean your realm, the realm of my vassal? Because that's what you would assume, right? I see, let, let me check something real quick, because we do have this. Um, your realm, plus two learning. Um, development growth, intrigue per level of fame, piety per night, Monthly renown, number of knights, knight effectiveness. Mm. Wait, what does it give? Learning plus two. From domain plus two. Hmm. Is there... Okay, maybe this is a way to go. Okay. You are not the leader. No, okay. So maybe this is a better way to check. Okay, so the pyramids, they give your realm renown. Ah, well, this is not a really great way to see that, right? Because you don't see their renown. Yeah, okay. What else is there? Let's check... Um. Baghdad, right? Learning per level of fame. Okay, your realm. So, oh, you're actually the absolute king. Ah, never mind, this doesn't really work the way. I, I want to see if, if I actually get something with this because spending a thousand gold on something that then doesn't actually, you know, help me, but just helps my cousin. I don't know if I like that. I just don't know if that's really good. So. Okay, he actually has a lot of troops. Maybe I will have to help him here. I probably do. Uh, we are now profiteering from this war. Let's raise our troops. And, um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I really wanted to do this. But now, I'm having second thoughts. Okay, we also finished this bishop break here. Prayer halls. Okay, all of this has been upgraded, pretty much. Oh, right, we can... Uh, you know what we can still do? We can upgrade this to a castle, right? No, we don't have battlements yet. There's things that can be built here. But you should have enough money to uh, invest. So I'm, I'm not really too interested in doing that myself. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what we can do here. Although I believe this war is pretty much over. Before I really get to do anything. Uh, we'll go to this barony. Our 
Chancellor died. Is that my steward? Yeah, obviously. Then let's see who else we've got. We've got a new m mayor. Great. Assign him. And uh, have him collect taxes as well. Still making three gold. It's pretty good. Was oh, he actually attacking me? Seems to be the case. Okay, let's run away. Uh, it seems that my dealings with Prince Dragon have made accidentally certain promises. You fool. Ah, this is bad. Prince Dragon's feudal taxes are reduced. Well, this sucks. I don't want him to have a hook on me, though. Mm. Actually, what's his uh, modify feudal contract? So, yeah, he has high levy. He has... Can I do this? Let's actually do this. Normal... Um... Oh, okay. So I can't change it. But yeah, this is probably something I would do. Uh, to just get the money, I would uh, probably get rid of some of the levies. Oh, okay. I haven't really been paying attention. We're defending a river crossing and in hills, but he has a lot more troops. Who's leading this? Do I not have someone better? No. Apparently I don't. Alright, well then, so be it. Um... Oh, a terrier was slain. Yeah, okay, this was pretty bad. I'm actually losing war score for these people. Try my best. We're getting absolutely slaughtered. Yep. Okay. Nikephoros was slain. This was absolute crush crushing defeat. And, uh, yeah, wow, we lost our entire army, basically. Okay. Uh, that's not good. That's very bad. Because now we're, uh, open to faction attacks and stuff like that. Accusations of witchcraft. Bloodstained cloth, crows, feathers, strange-smelling concoctions. This is the evidence presented to me by a group of villagers as proof that Melina has been practicing witchcraft. The villagers claim her evil works must be the cause of their poor harvest and are calling for their execution. Mmm. Okay. She must bird for her crimes. Yeah, obviously we'll have to do that. There's nothing else we really can go for. So yeah. Burn her. Burn the witch. Alright. And then stand down my troops. I did what I could. But uh, I lost a lot for this. I help where I could. Now, they're probably going to siege this. Yeah, they're faster. 2,600 men? Hmm, they have equal, equal amounts of troops. But, yeah, this is probably going to go on for some time. I can't really help them anymore, though. So, yeah. <laughs> That's that. I wasn't, really, I wasn't really expecting to lose all of my troops there. Like, seriously? That was kind of un, uh, unexpected, but all right. Um, we are now having to pay to re-raise all these troops. Uh, that's okay. Anyway, I'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.